Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am Emma of Emma Russell Studio where we create fun little fashion illustrations or florals. Today we are going to color in these fun fashion girls. If you want to color along with me you can pause this video and try to sketch out what I'm sketching. They're gonna have fun repetitive floral sweaters so it's gonna be really simple and fall and cozy. So or you could just draw your own sketches, your own little fashion illustrations, or maybe you are even drawing these while you are creating. So let's get started with some marker. I'm using my Prismacolor markers, and I'm going to get this corally red color, a dark green, and also a light skin tone for their faces and hands. So first we're going to start out with the skin tone and kind of go over any part where there is going to be skin. They are wearing shoes that cover most of their feet, so their feet won't need to be done, but the heads, the necks, and the hands will. Now we're going to go get those little parts of their feet. And I'm using this chisel side of the marker. Honestly, I should have used the smaller point, but whatever works for you, you can even go in with some shadow with a darker beige and I'm getting mine out of this old cigar box where I store some of my other markers since making this video I actually reorganized them so that was super fun but I found a darker beige and the light is coming from the left so we're gonna put the shadow on the right so you can just go in there go to every right section and kind of add a little bit of the darker color to the illustrations. Now we're going to go in with that corally red color and just add some fun flower shapes alongside the edges of the sweater or maybe the middle. You can be as loose or detailed as you want here, but really I'm just going in and making these kind of just floral blobs if you think of a really loose graphic floral. That's kind of what I'm going for with this sweater. I saw someone wearing a hand knit sweater that had these really pretty flowers on it that were knit in different colors and so that's where this idea came from and I thought what better way to really have a lot of fun with them than illustrate that four times. You can use any fine liner kind of pen. I love microns because there's such a variety in the tip size and they seem to last a really long time. So that is my favorite pen to use and I'm gonna just go in and not outline the entire sweater, but pieces of it. So doing this is really gonna help your illustration pop and make it feel a little bit more playful and whimsical after you add more color to it. So even when we add more color later on, we're not going to color right up to the line. We're going to leave some space. So that will just add some dimension naturally to it. Um, the lines are going to make it pop. And we really only need lines in certain areas. So go through with your lines and you can follow what I'm doing or try to make some lines to add more definition to the sweater for your own illustrations. Now you actually need one of those beige colors again. You can use a skin tone color or make it a little bit more tan because that is the color I'm also going for with the sweater. It's like a creamy, peachy, beige kind of color. And see how I am going in and I'm not coloring up to the line completely. 
and it's actually making it pop and look really cool. You can use a lot of white space to add dimension to your any kind of illustration you're doing. I have found that it just makes it a little bit more interesting. And then you don't always have to go in with a darker color when you do that because you've already defined your negative and positive space of your drawing. So we're going to go in and fill in all of those sweaters now. Now I am going in with a little bit of shadow just around some of the lower parts or near the front of the sweaters just because some of the parts I didn't add any line. So you can either do that or you can add a little bit more of your dark line and go on but just really lightly in just a few little spots and you can see how that makes it pop a little bit more. And after you finish the sweaters we're going to go in and we're going to just add some lines to the hair if you made hair and I'm going to always also go alongside of the pant legs you can always ink in like one step you could do the whole body but I like to kind of do it as I color it just helps it's the way my brain works and it's just makes more sense to me but now I'm going in with those straight lines for the legs if you did pants you can do it like that if you did skirts just make sure you're leaving a little bit of space to make it really fun and then go in and do the shoes too Now I'm adding even more shadow, which you can kind of just play it by ear on what you need. And as your piece continues, you'll see where you need some more darkness or a little bit more highlights. I'm just going in and making the face a little bit darker because I know I'm going to add brown to their hair. And I just want to cast a little bit more of a shadow on their faces. So that's where I'm going in there. Now I am choosing a dark blue for the pants and I'm kind of just going in these long streaky lines and keeping that in mind as I color in the pant legs while also trying to leave some space because if I colored this all in it would just be a blob and you would not see like where her one leg crosses over the other so I'm kind of defining that and then going in with short little lines for some and some longer lines for other parts but I'm not going to color in in like circles where you'd use um, coloring in for that coloring in technique for colored pencils. I'm not going to do that. Kind of going streaky and the great thing, these are Prismacolor markers. They're like the premier ones, I believe, and they have a finer tip. It's still a brush tip, but it's a thinner marker than the thicker ones I have over on the left side of my sketchbook. And the great thing about these markers I've found is that you don't always need two different shades of blue. So you can go in and you can just lessen the amount of pressure you are putting on the page and that almost adds a lighter shade of that color which I think is really cool so I'm see I'm doing that like near where the other leg overlaps the one and I'm just gonna go through and keep doing that for all of them and it's giving me a lot of practice doing it on multiple ones Now we're going to go in with a dark brown or whatever color you want to do the hair. I'm actually going in with a lighter brown it looks like here. So I'm going to go in with the hair and do the same thing that I've been doing with the other parts of the illustration and just add in a little bit of color to the hair. And after we do that, I'm going to then add my darker brown. Kind of put it underneath the hair where there would be more of a shadow or more towards the right because the light again is coming in towards the left in this illustration and I'm just gonna add a few little lines for like some strands of hair but really with the hair I try to just keep it as a block I don't like to add a bunch of detail for mine um, but if you're more into detailed illustrations you can do that for yours and then I'm gonna go in these are like clogs that she's wearing and I'm gonna go in and add the darker parts of that first before I add the light parts
Now I'm finishing up adding a little bit more detail wherever I need some, then going in with maybe a little bit of light blue and leaving some white space for highlights on the jeans. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this draw with me video. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these. And in the comments below, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. I'm always open to that. And please, if you were watching this while making your own art, let me know what you're working on. I would love to hear. And I hope that you come back for the next video because it's going to be fun. The next video should be me finishing up that big acrylic painting. If you didn't see it in the last video, you can go look through that. It's the third part of it. But I hope you guys have a great day and you had a lot of fun creating a fun, whimsical, floral, cozy fashion illustration with me. See ya!